Hi, this is Dr. Anna Catterson, Instructional Design Specialist, and this morning I'm joined with Susan Haddon, our Registrar at Neosho County Community College. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. Can you share some information about the grade process that Neosho uses? Yes, I sure can. Uh, grade periods are very important, and it's, it's really um, imperative that they follow the grade open period in order for us to get all of our processes done once the grades are in. We typically open the grade period two days before the final grades are due, which is when the class is over, and then leave it open two days after the last day of class in order to give the instructors plenty of time to submit their grades. Um, the process to do that is to go on to Inside and C and log in and then you would click on My Courses, which is under Quick Links, select the course that you need to submit grades for, and then click Gradebook. And then in the middle section, you will see Submit Your Grades. You'll click on that, and then you can go ahead and enter your grades. You have to make sure that you enter grades for every student that's on that roster, and then make sure you enter a check mark on the left side of each student and then hit Submit Selected Grades at the bottom of the screen. And then it'll work a little bit and then give you a message that once that has been processed. And then Registration have developed a query that we can run to allow us to see all the grades that have been submitted for each course during a selected period. So it's not necessary that you email us when you have submitted your grades. But if it makes you feel better, um, or you're not certain it's submitted correctly, you can certainly email us to confirm that the grades went through. And the person to email that to is the, our registration specialist, which is Joanna Tyndall, and that's J Tyndall, J T I N D L E at neosho.edu. And then if she has problems or needs to confirm with you, then she can do that. Um, a lot of you don't know what happens behind the scenes um, once we get the grade, final grade submitted. There are several processes that we have to run and it's uh, critical that we have all of the final grades before we can run all of these um, term in processes. So it's really important you get them done in that timely manner of the two days after period that we give you so we can complete all of our processes. Um, one thing we do is once all the grades have been submitted for the term, we do a recalc. And what that does is rolls all the grades to history, it flags any repeats, and then it updates the student's GPA. Then once that is done, our department can then begin to process all of the official transcript requests that we're waiting on final grades. Um, also financial aid has to wait on final grades to be posted as well so they can work on all of their term in processes too. So absolutely everything hinges on the final grades being posted in order for us to complete our end of term processes. Um, we also run a what we call a rules based update which will then update all of the class codes for the student, like an F from an FF, which is a first-time freshman, to a freshman, and then from freshman to a sophomore. Um, and then we run the probation and suspension as well. Uh, we have to send out letters to all those students that are in that, um, in probation or suspension. We also process the honor rolls from that. and send out letters and those are published in the papers as well. So if there's even one one class that has not submitted final grades that's holding up the entire term in process. So just remember that when you're doing your final grades to try to get in there and do that in the window that we provide so that we can then in turn do our term in processes. Thank you Susan that was great information. Thank you.